Hey guys, today we're here to explore the abandoned ruins of a World War II military installation. This place is known as the uh, Longhorn Army Ammunition Plant and it's humongous. This is uh, where they used to produce weapons and ammunition for the U.S. Army during World War II. The complex spans about uh, 21 square miles and it's the size of a small city. How many hikes are there? in Texas or even in the U.S. where you can explore an abandoned World War II military installation. This is surreal. No way, these are original papers from when this place was in operation. Thiokol Chemical Corporation, 1958. The Longhorn Army Ammunition Plant was established to produce ammunition and liquid fuel during World War II. However, in the early 1950s, the Thiokol Corporation, referenced in the papers we found, was contracted to update and repurpose the facility, enabling it to switch from liquid to solid fuel production near the onset of the Cold War. So the Longhorn Army Ammunition Plant was founded in 1942 and it was used to produce weapons and ammunition for the United States Armed Forces for the better part of uh, 55 years. It assisted with production during World War II as well as during the Korean War and other decades throughout the Cold War era. At one point in time, this place produced anything from incendiary devices to Pershing rocket motors. It was also used to produce fuel and all kinds of weaponry. It now forms part of the Caddo Lake National Wildlife Refuge. This may have been part of the water treatment plant, but not entirely sure. The story of the Longhorn Army Ammunition Plant begins in the early 1940s, when a young congressman named Lyndon Baines Johnson, yes, future president LBJ, saw the opportunity to persuade the Army to build one of the new ammunition plants in an isolated rural area adjacent to his wife's hometown of Karnak, Texas. LBJ moved quickly, and so did the Army, which acquired 8,493 acres of land adjacent to Caddo Lake, approximately four miles from the Louisiana-Texas border. In October of 1942, the Longhorn Army Ammunition Plant was established and fully operational. Yeah, so Longhorn Ammunition plant has approximately 451 buildings. It's the size of a small city with streets, blocks, and all kinds of abandoned buildings. And it was in operation for the better part of 55 years until it was uh, abandoned just a few decades ago. There's still the remains of power lines, poles, buildings, streets, you name it. This place even had its own uh, power grid and its own water treatment plant, as well as an entire railroad system that covered the whole facility for transportation of raw materials and finished goods. Yeah, so this must not be a fun place during the summer. Those wasps' nests are humongous. So quiet you could hear a pin drop around here. Not a soul for possibly miles. You know, the thing that's really insane is how independent this place was. It had its own power grid, it had its own water treatment plant, it had its own rail system to transport all of the raw materials as well as the finished product that was produced here. Whatever that is. With the exception of a seven-year period from 1945 to 1952 when it was maintained on standby status, the Longhorn plant spent about 55 years manufacturing weapons, fuel, and ammunition. Standby status ended in 1952 when the plant was reactivated and operated by Universal Match Corporation. Not sure what these were.
Looks like some sort of truck dock. Yeah, the dimensions of this place are enormous. It's hard to do them justice. Some sort of cargo or production base here. During the Korean War, Longhorn expanded its mission to include loading, assembling, and packing rocket motors and pyrotechnic ammunition. After the signing of the Intermediate Range Nuclear Forces Treaty on December 8th of 1987, the Longhorn plant, still operated by the Thiokol Corporation, was used to destroy Pershing 1A and Pershing 2 missiles. The property was subsequently transferred to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service in 2000 to become the Caddo Lake National Wildlife Refuge. It's truly amazing and even a little eerie to wander silently around a huge crumbling complex that would have been bustling with activity around 80 years ago. Amazing, the signs are still here. Got a red light. Maybe it's the alarm. Red alert. Well, this one actually has its roof intact. Class operators, casuals. Oh, these are rails of some sort. Got some machinery and everything. The sheer amount of abandoned roads, structures, and objects that are still left here make it almost impossible for any one visitor to ever explore the whole site. sure why they had to be this tall but they are that's several stories some extra protection. I think it must be one of the uh, ammo depots. Oh, hey buddy. Sorry. Look at this big heavy door right here. Still slides a bit. Kinda eerie. Did not bring a proper flashlight. Thank you. 
so at some point they discovered that the area around the Longhorn ammunition plant had been contaminated specifically with regards to the soil and the water so cleanup efforts have been ongoing for decades and they've made a lot of progress but they're still going today and that's one of the reasons why this place is part of the Caddo Lake National Wildlife Refuge to continue to protect and heal the land for future generations. This is a, really a place where you can get lost and see nature in the process of reclaiming its land back. I had a blast. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as well, and I hope to see you on my next adventure.